Dark Ops, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to go and take a look at this unit right here. So, this is the LR Blue Cow Can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta unit. Um, when they first released, right, like their level of power was very good, but upon using them a lot, it quickly became apparent how they definitely have limitations, right? Um, their link set, while it's good if you just look at it in a power generation sense, right? You know, Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. You're just talking a lot of raw power, right? So it's like you look at that and you look at the stats buffs you get and you go, oh, you're great. But the problem is they don't have a key link besides Tournament of Power. Now, I suppose... Right with the new LR unit coming into play here, the LR God Goku and God Vegeta, they're going to link up incredibly well with this unit. Most of the time, this unit right here should function very well as a slot one unit also. The uh, God Goku and God Vegeta, right? Because that's the thing about the blue Goku and blue Vegeta is so much of what they're doing is going to be come like in terms of their defensive ability is going to be coming when they super attack, right? Because they're getting 70% attack and defense at the start of turn. They get 7% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. But then they greatly raise attack and defense for one turn on their super attack. So here we are at 120k defense. We'll be able to get 14 orbs right here. Not really the greatest like opening. Or like all, the, you know, I bring a bunch of the god units. And of course they all are on like the other rotations. The way it always goes with me. So... 188k defense is what they jumped up to right here. That's pretty good because, again, we're going to get 50% when they super attack, right? The 200% leader skill of the LR gods as well um, is going to also, I think, factor in quite a bit here to how good this unit might look. So it's like with all their additionals, um, all the attacks they're going to do, I think that this unit could look very, very good at this point. Also, keep in mind, we're going to get support from PyCon right here. So they're actually jumping up over 200k defense right away. What is their attack set right here? 6.6? So, <laughs> okay. I This is a unit... I went full crit for this character, um, this blue Goku and Vegeta. Because with this unit, you're going to be doing a lot of additional normals, right? So I have 24 crit right there. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of additional normals with this character, right? It's going to be one of the major things that's going to be happening. Um, because every rainbow key sphere they get gives them uh, an additional normal. And you can get up to three of those within the same turn. So they could super attack, do three normal attacks, and then potentially get another super attack, right? Um, so it's like you want to build up as much crit as possible. So that you're really doing a lot of piercing, like, maximum damage here. Um, but, okay, I mean, that was a pretty good uh, opening turn, honestly. I I'm pretty pretty pleased with what we just saw from them. Because uh, I was saying, like, with the, the LR gods, like, there's not a good, like, Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God in the game to, to pair with this unit. But I guess, I mean, you, you could actually say this unit. I mean, in my head... I don't really consider this blue Goku and Vegeta really that great of a unit, but their problem, like, th they had the same problem I was talking about with the LR gods, which is where all of the Super Saiyan blues and Super Saiyan gods in the game really are, are not that great, right? But I, I think these two actually probably could work rather well together, now that I'm, like, really thinking about it. It's like, as long as we just get, like, a little bit of good luck with orbs, which we can force to happen, by the way, because, again, the LR gods, um category um teams that they're bringing here are very good right like power uh beyond super saiyan and movie hero we have access to 800 rainbow orb changers for this team right we have angel super saiyan 3 goku we have lr tech gogeta str goten um we have uh the the two gt dokkan fest like there's a lot we potentially could get here um okay so we'll do this Oh, this is going to be a crazy rotation. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to probably be very nuts. All right. So, we're going to get nine key orbs right here. So, we have Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, and Fierce Battle all active. Legendary Power, Tournament of Power, and then uh, Godly Power are not activated. They're at 184k defense. Remember that Blue Vegeta is going to give a minor attack buff when he super attacks? Hmm... 
I mean, this unit is, is... If you get the additional super attack with them, I mean, on this turn, they'd be over 300k defense, like, easy, wouldn't they? With a double super. And then all the different, like, normal attacks and stuff they'd be putting up. I... Hmm. This unit is looking like a real threat, I think, on teams with the LR gods. I think... Yeah, because, dude, 6.6 .6 right there. But they have three guaranteed additional normals coming up. There's one. And then we finished... Th we had at least... Okay. I, I actually think this unit has finally gotten what it what it needs. Now, if the LR gods were also a Rainbow Orb Changer, then things would be nuts beyond belief. But I think that the LR gods slot one, this unit slot two, um, is going to be very, very impressive. This was looking pretty good so far. All right. So let's go ahead and see how well this is going to work. Um, the only thing about using these characters together, right? So use the, the only thing about using the gods here. Let's get rid of you, um, since this guy is gonna have type um, disadvantage to the blues. Let's just get rid of him, since again, like what they do against him is worthless. Who cares? Um, what the, the only issue about using the gods in slot one, right, and then using the blues in slot two is, uh, it is sort of the same old thing of. Like, we'll generate a lot of power, right? Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, all activated. But there's going to be no key there. So key potentially could be an issue. Now, again, we do have a lot of powerful Rainbow Orb changing characters. Um, I suppose there, there should be at least some decent supports on here. That, dude, I'm telling you guys right now, Tech God Goku, it, it, it is time for him to get his easy A. If Tech God Goku, this one... Uh, that we're using right here gets his easy eight. That's going to help these characters out so much. It really is. This guy, like, I'm telling y'all, he is a complete game changer for a lot of these Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue characters. The way he's built. He has Prepare for Battle over in a Flash. He's a Rainbow Orb Changer. He has damage reduction against movie bosses. He's got, like, again, the links that we want. All right, so I'm looking at, like, sort of, like, supports. I mean, you do have a lot of characters, like, right? Physical Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Tech Krillin is on the um, movie hero category team. A lot of this, some of the Bardocks as well, like when the Bardocks get their EZAs, that's going to be very big as well. So I'm talking um, like the SCR Super Saiyan 2 Bardock, the physical Super Saiyan Bardock, like those kind of support characters. Like we need more powerful support characters, right? Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is another character for this team. You know, after his easy, he potentially could be a lot better as a support. Because I was using that Tech Blue Vegeta, but he's aged now. I mean, in like, you know, we're in the ultimate red zone right now. We're not running that Tech Blue Vegeta in here. He's fodder, right? Like, he he's he's ass cheeks, so we don't want to do that. Um, all right, so this is a good rotation. But again, okay, yeah, see, perfect. The, okay, here's the issue, is this. Um, these two, again, are not sharing key links, despite the fact that they're getting, like, all of their attack links active. That's cool. But they don't have key links. Um, so it's going to be difficult, I think, to like sort of force feed both units. Both the LR gods and the blues. It's going to be difficult to get all of them um, like eating the way they want to without Rainbow Orb Changers. Now, we do, of course, have like GT Dokkan Fest Vegeta and some of these characters who could help make it a thing. But again, there are certain situations where like we're going to have really bad turns because of the way they built this blue Goku and Vegeta. Um, so this is all seven links activated. Goku and Vegeta really get a lot of power um, in terms of their links, right? Again, I mean, you look at this shit, man. Warrior Gods, 10% attack, then 5% on Super. Legendary Power, 15% on Super. Fierce Battle, 20%. Super Saiyan, 15%. Godly Power, 15%. Kamehameha, 10% on Super. So it's like they're like, you know, 5.24. We barely got orbs right there. Was that four orbs? Like their attack power right here is pretty good. Um... So it's like they're they're gonna look good in terms of generating power and having solid defense. Uh, the issue for me is just potentially um, key and stuff like that. All right, so I want to kind of chill and like save as many because we have both rainbow orb changes right here. Again, I, I can't do a showcase with good luck to save my life ever. As long as Slug doesn't super attack at the end right here, we're fine. I, please don't super slug. 
Uh, I wish I could get... Oh, okay. Whew, thank God. All right. Remember that god Goku's got the amateur action against movie... Like, he... L l again, look at the... Against movie bosses, this dude is a god. Right? Even prior to his EZA, this dude will help carry um, in this movie boss's uh, ultimate red zone. Right? Like, you just have to be careful against, the, like, the, the some of the minions, right? The first stage against Turles is just minions. And the first stage against Slug is just minions. But after that... Uh, you know, we're we're able to get that damage reduction as movie boss characters, so we're able to do that. I mean, you honestly, in this stage, that would work as well with the Super Saiyan uh, Blue Cow Can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. That would work, right? So what we could do is we could put God Goku in slot one and then them in slot two. You could utilize that setup to allow this unit to absolutely dominate in here, and that God Goku's not going to be a detriment to you. He's going to be linking up well with this unit and creating the orbs so that, that went, they could take control. Again, right now with the current meta, the way you probably want to think about team building and a lot of this stuff is under the lens of the 200% leader skills, right? So it's like, you know, you could use other teams and stuff like that, but it, it's just, again, it's a massive difference. You really want to run these LRs as your leads and fill up as many 200%, um, uh, you know, Kamehameha category characters as you can. That's why global players, it is imperative you guys do not be dumb asses and summon on any units that don't have this type of leader skill until you get one. If Saiyan Day has this type of leader skill, you could summon on it. You know, if, if, if some sort of global first comes, sure. But it, honestly, as a global player, you really don't want to lose your chance to get one of the new meta leader skills. You, you, I, I'm serious. You guys have got to get one of these characters these 200 percent leader skill characters you have to so don't be foolish with your summons uh, on global um let's go ahead and transform um into the blues no reason not to right here Alright, perfect. Um, this is looking pretty good. We don't need to run them in the middle slot, because the only thing we'd be getting is well, nothing, nothing. We're getting all the links we need active right here. Okay, so that's nine orbs. Can we do better than nine? No. Okay. So we're gonna do this right here. This is like max power nearly. We're not actually at full 24 key, but that's okay. We still got, what, four rainbow orbs? That's as good as you could hope for. Again, we have all these links activated. Um, th this this is going to be a good display of what this unit can do. This blue cow can Goku evolution blue Vegeta unit right here. Um, I think if we eat a... Su okay, if they double super, I think we would survive a super attack from Slug. If they double super. If they only get super... If they only super attack once... I don't think we would survive a super attack from Lord Slug. Let's see what happens. Look at the damage. The damage they're doing is outrageous. Ah, they're still taking a little bit of damage there, but they're doing so much damage. And then, uh, here's the thing. You know, they have six out of seven links with this unit. That's not just Blue Cow and Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta getting that massive power-up, though. That's the blues. Look at them. They just did a nine million attack stat. They were super effective against all types. They had a guaranteed additional super attack coming. This rotation works, dude. This does work. Because you have the rainbow orb changers and stuff necessary to really make this um, go smoothly. I'm going to use a King Yamura here just to make sure we live. Um, Evolution Blue Vegeta, you guys know the deal with him. If he got super attacked right away, he could be touched up. Uh, I want to just ignore a super attack with him. I don't want to. I don't want to do too much damage to Slug because I want the blues next. Oh, perfect! <laughs> Let's go get that super attack in on God Goku. Thank you, fam. Love that. Because um, even with the King Yama, we, we we still could take a lot of damage in here, right? Um, things are looking good though. I mean, you guys can see, dude, this blue cow can Goku. Like, I gotta take it back because again, I said every blue, every god in the game sucks. I, honestly, I I I can't say this unit sucks. Blue Cow can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. No way. Th this team is tailor made for them. Um, like this is exactly what they needed. They're looking good to me. I mean, of course, the 200% leader skill. A, a lot of these characters are just like, whoa, holy shit! Like looking way better. Um, right. But this unit is good. 
So, that, like, you know, this Dokkan Fest LR finally have a chance to spread their wings now, and they can actually look good. Um, and then here's the thing. We're going to be able to pop the active skill now. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, I want to use the Gogeta Blue active skill, but I'm not going to. Um, okay. Let's, let's pop this. So, Goku and Vegeta massively power up on this turn. Let's do this. Alright, so remember that their active skill gives them 24 key. They get a 70% active skill attack buff, which is huge. But then they lose 50% defense. You could do that when HP is under 50%. Now, the thing about this active skill is this is... We want to view this as like a finishing blow attack, right? Um... Oh, damn. See, see Slug would kill us. If I do this... Because I don't want the blues to go crazy, right? We want to see Blue Cow can go Evolution Blue Vegeta. I can't put them in slot one. Even with the King Yama, they would die. Um... I think I, I... Okay, okay. And then here's the thing. Again, the LR Super Saiyan 4s are great. The LR Super Saiyan Blues are great and shit like that. But, like, I'm seeing a lot of people pretend like, you know, some of these characters like UI Goku are horrible now. Uh, no. Because this rotation right here is where UI Goku would be better defensively than the Blues. Right? These rotations will occur. You know, UI Goku... Uh, do people are pretending he's bad now? Like, no, you're a moron. UI Goku is still really good. And this is a situation where UI Goku would help out dramatically, right? Um, I think I need to use... I'm not going to use the King Yama just in case Slug supers and kills us and proves my point for me. Or maybe they live the super attack, which they're not going to. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I do want to make sure to get like pretty much this exact turn in if we do die right here to Slug. Remember that this Slug hits really hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, there you go. Again, he, these units are very good. But it's like, defensively, they're at max power turn one, which I love, right? Because, again, in these long events, it's way easier to be good in these, like, these types of events than it is, like, Super Battle Road. So, like, I actually don't have any issues with how the Blues and Super Saiyan 4s are built whatsoever. I have no problems with it. But I just want to point out that they are not perfect. Okay, oh my god, dude. 11 million. Remember that they have three additionals? Is he just going to die in one hit? Uh, dude, I... <laughs> All right, we're 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 getting to this. This is happening where they're actually so powerful now with their damage that we actually can't see it, right? It's like this is what happens to Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku, where he does so many additionals and so much damage that we're not even able to see it occur because everything dies, <laughs> right? They had three additionals, guaranteed normals coming afterwards, which, again... You build them full crit because if these normals crit, it's doing massive damage. Let's I'm gonna jump into like the legendary Vegeta event and we're gonna go like super deep into it. Um and I, I, because again, we wanna see this. Like we wanna see these turns where we could, you know, have them do a ridiculous amount of damage. But I mean we could see that this unit is Blue Cow can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. They're looking pretty good, dude. I, I I'm impressed because their defense, you can't run them in slot one. But their defense after their supering is not horrible. Especially for the damage they're doing. They're looking good. Alright guys, so we're here. Um, Again, I think I want to... Uh, we're going to get this first turn. So here's turn one, right? Just sort of, you know, again, seeing what they're kind of ca uh, capable of doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip to a little deeper into the event. All I'm looking for is I want to turn where they can actually go crazy without killing the enemy in two seconds. We might not come back until we get to the physical blue Vegeta near the end. But again, I just... I, it's it's impossible to actually show how good these characters are, right? These uh, Because these units are doing so much damage. Again, it's the same thing with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I've never been able to get like Super Saiyan 3 Goku to do like the quad super because he kills everything after the first or second super anyway, right? And it's... I, this unit is looking like it's going to be a similar thing because, like, dude, you're running the gods in slot one, dropping a 9 million super effective insult types attack stat 
then like a 7 million attack stat, super effective against all types. And then the blues are going to then do 5 attacks. Like, not there's... Even Evolution Blue Vegeta at the end of this is, is like, dying to that rotation. Like, it's, it's crazy, right? So, all right, um, we'll go ahead and skip ahead. Um, and we'll kind of see how this is going to look, uh, again, a little deeper in the event where we can hopefully see them, again, spread their wings a little bit here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see this rotation right here because against um, the Int Vegeta, we could go uh, in slot one and actually live. Um, we definitely could still take some damage here, but we probably will be okay. Okay, so we can get seven, uh, including three Rainbow Orbs. Remember, three Rainbow Orbs is the like the necessary number um, to get the full, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, additional normal. So as long as we're getting three rainbow orbs, we're sort of seeing like what the unit is fully capable of doing, right? All right, so let's see this rotation right here. No support on rotation besides the rainbow orb changing from GT Vegeta. Um, we will get a minimum of four attacks right here. Oh my God, dude. See, the attack stat itself is not that crazy. But when you factor in all the extra attacks they're doing, so like 5 million crit right there, a million damage crit normal, another million damage crit normal, another million damage crit normal, no additional damn. Oh, and they could have super attacked again right there. See, that's what I'm saying. That right there is why you go full crit on these characters like this, AGL Trunks, that are doing a lot of normal attacks. You want to make sure that these normals are critting. Because when they're critting, the damage is really good and really adds up, right? You uh, Again, you want to use a similar philosophy, I think, um, for these characters here. Um, you want to use a similar philosophy for these characters that do a lot of additional normals as for, like, counter characters, right? Like, you know, like a character like STR Vegito and stuff like that, you know, you, you probably want a lot of crits, you know, for any characters that's going to be doing a lot of counters, um, you know, AGL trunks and stuff like that. Uh, and these characters are doing a lot of normals. Right? Again, right, like AGL trunks. Um, because they're shooting out so many of these normals. And a lot of times against really tough bosses, um, their defenses will be so high that these normals won't do anything. So you want them to be crits to be able to penetrate the boss's defenses, right? Very important like that. Um, okay, so I've been keeping the gods in god form. Um, so what that has allowed us to do is really stack up. They're only 300k? What? Um, oh, this is the friend one. That's why. Damn it. Uh, we would survive. Uh, actually, it's probably best to transform. Let me transform. Because we'll at least get access to their chance to dodge right here. Um, which, which could help out quite a bit. Um, we'll probably make this the last rotation right here. I feel like we've seen a um, pretty good example of what this Blue Cow can Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta can do. Um, I think that them in a setup along with the Super Saiyan Blues right here is something you can make real effective use out of, right? Um, I, I think that, you know, these units were kind of, Honestly, before the LR Gods released, I do think that this unit, this Blue Vegeta and Goku, is kind of a throwaway um, with very limited uses, but... Now, I feel like they, they, they actually can be a staple on this team, I think. Um, with this LR, Evolution Blue Vegeta and Kaioken Goku. Alright, so we'll take damage. That's six orbs. Let's just keep... Let, 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 we're just going to go with that right there. Um, so we'll take damage on the blues, but we're not going to die, right? Um, okay, so let's go and see what um, number we get right here, and then we'll finish up. So let me know what you guys are thinking about 200% leader skill buff. Um, Kaioken Blue Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, um, they're definitely, to me, looking quite a bit better. Um, a unit like the Blues or Gods right here who can sort of comfortably sit in slot one, right? So, and then, you know, let Blue Goku and Vegeta really do their thing. Um, I think it's going to be really, really big for this unit, right? So, again, let me know what you guys are thinking about them. Um, but I, I, I think that, honestly, this unit is probably at their best right now. Uh even than when they first released. I feel like conditions are better in-game currently for this unit to be really good than even when they first came out because, you know, this team, which you want to run them on, the Beyond Super Saiyan slash Movie Hero team, you have access to, like, seven, eight, nine Rainbow Orb Changers. The G Both GT Dokkan Fest, LR Tech Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, right? You know, Tech God Goku, you go down the line, there's a lot of characters 
um, that are able to sort of, um, again, have the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, there's a lot of characters that can sort of create rainbow orbs for them, right, at this point, so, um, again, let me know what you guys think, uh, about Blue Cow Can Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta on the 200% leader skill, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.